Be warned. Training in the chambers, no cakewalk. Training to surpass Super Saiyan. Wow, it's nothing but white space. My body feels heavy. It's so hot, I can barely breathe. That's not all. This place is as big as the Earth itself. Get lost out there and you're a goner. Be careful. So, we're gonna spend a year in here? Let's get right into it. After all, it's not like we're here on vacation. First things first, we're gonna make you a Super Saiyan. Me? A, a Super Saiyan? I don't know if I have what it takes. Of course you do. Don't forget that you got Saiyan blood running through your whole body. All that said, any real type of training we need to do isn't gonna happen until you're a Super Saiyan. Aren't I just gonna waste your time and, and get in your way? Well, yeah, at first. But don't get me wrong. I'm planning on going completely beyond Super Saiyan when the time is right. I've got plans for you, too. I want you to get even stronger than that. I know you can do it. What? Me? Stronger than you? Yep. If anyone can do that, it's you. Man, I... I hope I can. <laughs> Relax! It's gonna take some time, so no rush. We'll take it nice and slow at first. Now that's enough talking. Let's get warmed up. This may be just a warm up, but don't go easy on me, okay? Okay. Yeah! 
body felt like it was doing more than just heating up. to fight in a place like this. It is. But your techniques and movements are pretty great. I'm betting you've got Piccolo to thank for all that. <laughs> Guess that means we can move straight on to Super Saiyan training. What do you say? <laughs> yeah. doing is raising your energy. That's not enough. You need to get angry to become a Super Saiyan. Get angry! Let out all your rage! I'm trying. I can't get angry, though. It's not gonna come to you right away, and that's okay. Me and Vegeta had to go through a lot before we got it. There's no need to rush, Gohan. R right. All right, time to go. I'm coming too. Very well. So, this is where Kakarot and the others waste their time. This one might provide a challenge. <laughs> Easy prey. When we find Cell, keep your hands on him. He's mine. <laughs> Eighteen anywhere. She's got to be hiding somewhere on one of these islands. Very well. Let's 
Listen up, 18. You better make your presence known. If you don't, I'm going to start destroying these islands one at a time until I find you. So she won't come out. She's not making this easy. You... you're Vegeta! So, you're Cell! <gasps> That's... Vegeta! And what is it that you think you're doing here? Don't tell me you think you can stop me! I didn't come here to stop you. I came here to tear you limb from limb! Tear me limb from limb, you? <laughs> That's hilarious! Oh, but I'm getting so tired of hearing you talk. <laughs> Take a good long look, Cell. I'm going to beat that stupid grin right off that annoying face of yours. <laughs> I'm a little too much for you to handle now, aren't I? <laughs> How is this happening? You're Vegeta, right? I mean, Vegeta? Wrong. I am Super Vegeta! Oh, that power level is huge! Uh, amazing! So that's the new and improved Vegeta, huh? So, is Trunks that strong too? I don't see Goku or Gohan anywhere. Uh, it's the androids. They were here the whole time? Cell, Vegeta, Trunks, they don't know they're here, do they? Uh, I've got to be within 10 yards of them for the remote control to work. Uh, here goes nothing. You've used up all your power, and still you couldn't muster the strength to fight me. Very disappointing. Oh, this can't be... <laughs> this can't be happening! If, if I could only gain the energy I need to fight you with my perfect body! What's that? You actually think getting that perfect body of yours would be enough to defeat me? <laughs> Of course! I wouldn't lose to the likes of you! <sighs> oh. 
Okay. Uh, now, I should be within 10 yards of them. Uh, I gotta make sure I shut 18 down, then destroy her. Otherwise, Cell's going to absorb her. Uh, this is my only shot. Better make it count. See ya. Emergency shutdown remote control. Why does he have that? Uh, sorry, Bulma. Huh? Go on, get out of here while you still can. Avoid cell and live your life. Why did you, why did you destroy that? That was your only chance. It's, uh... If I could achieve my perfect form. Power, speed, technique, intelligence. I would be perfect in every way. The computer told me as much. Is this true? Could achieving this perfect form of yours actually close the gap between us? How many times are you gonna make me repeat myself? You, you would have no hope of defeating me, at least not as you are right now. Hmm. Uh, Father, don't tell me you're... You say and say you're warriors through and through. I would think you'd want to at least test your mettle against my perfect form. Fine, I'll fall for your little ruse. Go ahead and get this perfect form you've been babbling on about. Go on! Father! <laughs> My father may be willing to let you go, but I'm not! Hey, Vegeta! Do something about this guy, would ya? Huh? Eighteen. So she was hiding there the whole time. Uh -huh. Hey! Cell knows where you are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No! You're not going anywhere. Don't even think about it, Trunks. You. <laughs> I'm so close to perfection I can taste it. Father, what you're doing is wrong. We can't let him absorb 18. <laughs> Where's your sense of pride? Don't you want to see how much stronger he can get? No. I've seen enough bloodshed and destruction in my future! <laughs> my eyes! <laughs> no! Stop! Eighteen. No! We're finally going to see this perfection of his. It better not disappoint, that's for sure. No! He's... So there it is. Cell had finally absorbed Android 18 and achieved his perfect form. 
In a fit of rage, Krillin launched himself at Cell, but was effortlessly sidelined by Cell's newfound strength. Krillin, having been brought back from the brink of death thanks to a senzu bean from Trunks, was overwhelmed by the power of Cell's perfect form. Vegeta, excited by the prospect of fighting a more worthy opponent, taunted Cell into continuing their fight. Cell calmly accepted Vegeta's challenge and prepared to engage him in battle once more. Achieving Perfection. <laughs> Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. From the looks of it, this perfect form of yours doesn't seem like it's worth the wait! Is that so? Oh. Big Bang, attack! Got the gun! This gap between us you mentioned is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> oh, whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I get that, but still! If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you got left. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell! Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin! Take my father and get him out of here! Hmm. 
Right, you got it. Power level, it's taken a massive dive. Cell's power level is through the roof. <sighs> Did he overpower Trunks? <sighs> Not good. Vegeta, come on, Vegeta, wake up! <sighs> but I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. <laughs> Trust me. Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. A... Uh, a tournament? Let's make it... Mm, ten days from now. Say, twelve o'clock? That should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. Uh, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time, and if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me, and then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell. What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness. And plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits, destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. Ah! <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us! Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way! I will be the one to enter that room and finish this! Uh-huh. I... I too will... enter... the tournament. Please... take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay. I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin. Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. <laughs> Bye.
Gohan, you've gotten so much stronger than I thought you would. It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. You've got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? Yep. Come at me with everything you've got, and don't hold back. Try your best to take your old man down, huh? Well, I can't do that. But I'll do what I can. Come on, Gohan. Let's see what you've got. Show me. Okay. Yeah. Incredible. Don't ever forget what that felt like. Right. Uh, but, Dad, we're probably gonna need more time before we go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't you? I mean, come on. I just learned how to become one, so I have no clue what I would even do to go further than that. I think I just might know what to do about that. Huh? We just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? 
staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. You understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, uh, okay. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament, known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long-forgotten memory. Damn that Cell. This is just a game to him? No way. I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone. If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth. And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... what are they doing out this early? What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. He looks so different. What? They're... they're still Super Saiyan? Wait, something is different. They seem calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, right. Here's what happened. The Cell Games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo, you still got my uniform? Oh, yes, I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo, I'd like some new clothes, too. Like yours. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. 
Hmm. There we go. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person, got it? We're gonna have a great match. Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but... I'm probably not gonna be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well. Look at that! Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament, okay? Gohan, let's go. Oh, right! Only nine days remained until the Cell Games Tournament. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house! Huh? Chi-Chi? Yep, there's no place like home! Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. 
Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. Time to get collecting. Hyperbolic time chamber wasn't very good. Well, I can't release my full power if I don't have something tasty to eat. Good thing we left the chamber early. This looks like a great apple. Yeah. <laughs> Trouble lady. Best to deal with this now. Whoa! This one seems pretty tough. should be enough fish. All that's left is the meat. <laughs> this one looks pretty tasty. Seems pretty tough. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Meat. Great! This should be everything. Time to head back to Chi Chi. Chi-Chi. All right. Happy hunting. Chi-Chi, will this do for the ingredients? Back already? That's my husband for you. I <laughs> can't wait to dig in. <laughs> I'll fix this something nice, so hold your horses. Ta-da! Finished. Oh, wow! It smells delicious. I tried broadening my culinary horizons for the occasion. Set your expectations high, boys! Man, I can't wait! You'll have to. No eating until we reach the picnic spot. Then let's get going! All right. It's been ages since we've gone out together. This will be fun! I'd do anything for some tasty grub, but I've never been big on this driving business. Why don't we just take the Nimbus? Way easier. Because then it wouldn't be a family drive, now would it? Plus, a trip by car has a little something called ambiance. Um, is that it? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Goku. Remember the first day we met? When we rode on your flying Nimbus? Of course I do. We went to see Master Roshi to borrow the Boncho fan. Yep, that's right. When I was riding behind you, I already knew that we had to get married. Huh? Really? <sighs> Such beautiful memories. Since the day we were first engaged up until our reunion at the World Tournament, all I could think about was meeting you again. Mom seems happy to be spending time with Dad. When that heart disease hit him, she was really worried. I know. I should excuse myself. They'd probably enjoy a bit of time alone together. Sorry, I just remembered some stuff I have to do. Mind going on ahead without me? I'll catch up as soon as I can. Huh? But Gohan, we've been planning this for... Don't worry. I know the spot. Plus, I can fly there faster than you can drive. You two, enjoy the ride. If you say so. Shall we, Goku? It'll be just the two of us. Sounds good. See you later, Gohan. Hmm. What should I do now? Hey. Someone's calling. I wonder who it could be. Hello? This is Gohan. Oh, hey, Gohan. It's 
me, Bulma. Can you put your dad on the line? Oh, you want dad? Sorry. Him and mom just left. He did? Oh, rats. Then I just missed him. Is something the matter? Uh, maybe. You see, we're at my place fixing up the android that Krillin brought back. He needs a replacement chip in his head, but we don't have the materials to make it. I did some research, and it looks like the metals we need can only be found in your neck of the woods. I was hoping your dad would be able to help out in that department. Oh, is that all? I'd be happy to help. I'm free anyway. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay, I'll rattle off the stuff we need. Ready? Got it. I'll have these in a jiffy. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Gohan. This isn't a bad way to spend an afternoon. All right. <laughs> 